few months ago, I made the impulse move to buy an overpriced ASUS VivoBook. But by all means, this is no ordinary VivoBook as it is a very well spec Intel Evo verified Core i9 13900H powered machine. And it all comes down to paying for this expensive collaboration with a bathing ape, which gives you the iconic camouflage styling on the laptop, an exclusive carrying case, and some keyboard stickers that I never bothered to stick, and a baby Milo figurine. I'm probably paying over 1,000 ringgit for this exclusivity and bragging rights, which I could have been paying for a 15-inch MacBook Air or a proper gaming laptop. But without considering these factors, has this paid off as a tech investment for flexing? Let's find out. To be honest, I was never a bathing ape fan, but I also don't hate it. And when I saw this laptop for the first time, not only I was attracted to the special design and the merchandise it came with, I was also impressed with how slick this VivoBook is compared to the usual ones. Though it isn't the lightest 15-inch laptop I've come across as it weighs 1.7 kilograms, which is a break compared to my Acer Swift H that weighs just 1.1 kilograms with a larger 16-inch display. But I would forgive that extra weight because ASUS fitted a very big 75 watt hour battery that lasts up to 7 hours of real world usage, which is very respectable considering it needs to power a 2.8K OLED display and an Intel H series processor. One thing that I am disappointed with this overpriced Hypebeast laptop is the IOs, because you still get outdated ports like USB 2.0 and HDMI 1.4 which is totally unacceptable for a 6,000 ringgit laptop in 2023. Though, to be fair, it still offers way more I.O. than some similar priced laptops. One consoling point is having a USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port that supports 90 watt USB PD charging, but I really dislike having the majority of ports located on the right. Otherwise, the VivoBook S15 OLED comes with a fingerprint reader built into its power button, a Full HD webcam with a physical privacy shutter, and Wi-Fi 6E connectivity. As a pretty premium priced laptop, the VivoBook S15 OLED unfortunately doesn't come with a one-handed hinge, which is pretty disappointing. But it has a really pretty 15.6 inch OLED display that refreshes at 120Hz. It has good brightness and excellent colors that you can expect from a good OLED panel, which offers a really good media consumption experience. Not to mention the Harman Kardon tuned speakers which sound pretty okay despite being downward facing speakers. Though they still don't sound as punchy as a MacBook speaker. Otherwise, the most enjoyable thing about the VivoBook S15 OLED is the responsiveness. I mean, this laptop has an overkill CPU that's only usually found on expensive gaming laptops. And since it is an Intel Evo verified system, you definitely wouldn't find any form of sluggishness or starters if you're using it for office productivity and web browsing. The laptop also has 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM that's sufficient for what I'm doing on it and I occasionally do lightweight gaming and it does a pretty good job if you aren't too anal about the graphics quality in games. The laptop's single cooling fan isn't too noisy even when I try pushing the system to do more things. Overall, the VivoBook S15 OLED is a pretty capable laptop that easily outshines many similar priced laptops in terms of performance and battery life. This is what you can expect from an Intel Evo verified system and even if you don't consider the core branding markup, it's hard to find a non-gaming laptop that's equipped with a powerful Intel H-series processor and a beautiful 2.8K 120Hz OLED display. Sure enough, having such hardware on a VivoBook is definitely unnecessary as there are cheaper laptops that can perform just as good in the real world. And it probably makes more sense to go for a gaming laptop if you prioritize performance over design or whatsoever but you ultimately lose out on portability and battery life, which is what the VivoBook S15 OLED has to offer over the competition. Personally, I wouldn't recommend this Babe Edition laptop to anyone, but if you love what ASUS has done here with a bathing ape and willing to pay over 6,000 ringgit for one, you can't go wrong with it because at least you are getting a powerful laptop to flex in a cafe. And personally, I think it looks way cooler than a MacBook. 
Alright, so that's all for my thoughts on the ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED Bip Edition after using for a good 3 months. It is a really good laptop and do let me know what are your thoughts in the comments down below because I would love to hear them about it, whether you would like make the impulse move to buy a laptop that has a co-branding with a hype beast brand or whatsoever. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right out and I'll see you guys in the next one.